Hey guys, what's up? Ryan here, aka Rag and Vapor, and today we're going to talk about exquisite or simply e spot e liquids. They sent me six flavors to uh, talk about, and they, they all came in six uh, milligrams nicotine content. Okay, so um, let's go to the first flavor, which is Melon Touch. All right, here we go. Melon Touch. So let's go ahead and smell it. I'm getting that milky uh, scent right away and um, some faint notes of uh, melon. So let's go ahead and try it. For this review I'll be using my uh, DJK box mod and my crown atomizer. So let's put a couple of drops here. I'm using the dual micro coil cotton builds by the way. Rated around um, 0.6, 0.5 to uh, 0.6 ohms. So, here we go. This is some melon touch. Okay. All right. Let's start vaping. You'll get that milky taste right away. Um. But as you inhale the vapor, you'll get that faint um, melon melon flavor. And as you exhale it, exhale the vapor, you'll get that milky goodness, okay, and that sweetness too. That tends to uh, linger on your tongue. Okay, so um, it's methylated, by the way. I like the fact that it's methylated. It has this uh, gives you a blast of coolness all the way down. So, um, it will be better if uh, the uh, the milk doesn't overpower the, the melon. Um, uh, uh, I think you guys can do something about it. Um, it's not that bad, though. Um, it would be better if, uh, in my opinion, okay, it would be better if uh, you would add some more of that melony flavor, okay, a balance between melon and milk. So, um, let's take a couple more vapes. But, um, I do like the fact that it's methylated, it works well with the milk and the, uh, the uh, melon. So let's go to the next flavor, which is Strawberry Blast, okay? This is definitely uh, strawberry, it smells like strawberry, and, um, I'm getting the impression that this is methylated. This is, this smells like strawberry in a medicinal kind of way like the uh, strawberry vitamins or uh, cough syrup and the likes. So um, let's go ahead and try it. Melon Blast. That's uh, dry burn. Some of those melon flavor. All right, so here we go. I can't torch my uh, my uh, my coils, my build, because um, I would be burning the cotton. So um, that's why I'm putting only uh, like two drops each, so the flavor doesn't stick that much. Yep, it's uh, it's definitely strawberry, it's definitely methylated. Um, it gives you the, this uh, blast of coolness, like like melon touch. It goes all the way down. Um, it may smell like uh, medicine, but it doesn't taste like that. It's um, strawberry in a candy kind of way. Um, maybe if you guys would add some more, like like melon touch, if you would like add a twist of uh, milk or make it creamier, I think it would be better. Again, it's it's uh, my own opinion. Okay, so. Um, but it's it's a uh, it's a nice uh, flavor, um, especially with the fact that it's methylated. I, I like I love methylated e juices. So let's let's go ahead and vape some more. 
Again, it's uh, strawberry in a candy kind of way. Um, it's not that sweet like the uh, melon touch. So um, I would love to uh, to uh, have uh, that melon or make that that milky touch um, in this uh, incorporated with this uh, eju. So anyway, um, let's move on with the next flavor, which is black spot. Okay. These are 20 ml bottles, by the way. We'll be talking about pricing at the end of the video. So, um, black spot. This gives me an impression that this is a MB or Marlboro Black um, inspired e-liquid. Definitely smells like tobacco. So, let's go ahead and try it. Um, let's just uh, dry burn those. Uh, dry burn the, uh, the strawberry uh, flavor in here. Okay, so here we go. Black spot. One, two. All right, two drops each. Again, this is a review of uh, exquisite or e spot e liquids. It's a definitely um, a methylated tobacco based e juice. Um, it's, um, I think it's tobacco in, in a. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's um, RY4 base. Okay. The, uh, the methylated um, touch of uh, black spot is not like. Uh, mellow touch or uh, strawberry blast okay um, it's not that uh, strong but you know it's there so <laughs> it's I'm guessing or if I'll be comparing it to uh, Marlboro Black maybe it's about 85% close to uh, Marlboro Black all right, so it's a good e-juice. Again, I love methylated e-juice, so taste is subjective. I may like it, you you may not. So um, again, it's methylated uh, tobacco, black spot. All right, um, let's go to the next flavor, which is. Mateo Poker. Yeah. Can you read it? Mateo Poker. Um, I am uh, not sure why this is called Mateo Poker. I honestly have no idea why it's called Mateo Poker. So let's go ahead and um, smell it. Um, I'm guessing it's named after uh, the, the guy who made this juice. Anyway. It smells like tobacco, sweet tobacco. Um, I'm getting that rich RY4 scent in here. So let's go ahead and try it, okay? Um, again, I'm going to dry burn the flavor out of the coils. The build that is. You can dry burn cotton, by the way, but not that much. Okay, make sure your coils won't glow. Okay, dry burn it just enough to uh, to get those uh, flavor out of the uh, cotton. All right, so here we go, Mateo Poker. Yeah, it's RY4. It's uh, it's definitely tobacco. Um, you'll get that rich RY4 RY uh, fourish uh, flavor. Okay. Um, it's not methylated. It's sweet tobacco. You get that sweetness as you vape it. Um, throat hit is uh, pretty good on, on this uh, uh, flavor. 
Okay. Unlike the first three, first uh, three flavors, um, I didn't get that much of a uh, throat hit, but with Mateo poker, poker that is, it's uh, pretty good. So yeah, um, it's a sweet tobacco. You get that sweetness as you uh, inhale the uh, vapor, and as you exhale the vapor, you'll get that. Our wife for goodness. Okay, so I'm still um, wondering why it's called Mateo Poker. So maybe you guys from E Spot or e Exquisite Spot E Liquids can enlighten me why it's called Mateo Poker. So next up we got berry cheese. All right, so um, I'm guessing it's a blueberry cheesecake. So um, or it's something else. If it's not blueberry, it's something else. It's berry and cheese, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and smell it. Look at that the funky, nasty cheese scent. I'm not getting um, that much of the berry scent here. Um, I'm getting a, a, a subtle or some faint notes of uh, berry. But, you know, that, that nasty cheese scent is overpowering the, uh, the berry scent, so let's go ahead and try it. I hope it tastes, I hope it works well. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. Let's take a vape on it. Berry cheese. Oh yeah. You'll get that cheese flavor right away. Reminds me of queso de bola. It's uh, cheesy in that kind of way. Um, I'm getting faint, faint or subtle, uh, a subtle taste of berry. I'm not sure what it is. Um, it may be blueberry, it may be uh, blackberry or raspberry, but it's definitely a berry. Okay. It's not strawberry, but um, it's definitely a berry flavor, a subtle berry flavor. But, you know, the cheese, it's like queso de bola. Reminds me of New Year and Christmas. It doesn't taste like, or it, it doesn't taste that bad. Um, I'm, I may actually... Um, you know, vape this from time to time, but um, well, there you go. I can't say much about it, but if you're a big fan of uh, if you're a cheese fanatic, if you're a big fan of uh, blueberry cheesecake or whatsoever, or somewhere you know along those lines, well, I think you guys would like this berry cheese. All right, so last flavor for the day, or for this review, is Flintstones. Okay. <laughs> that reminds me of my childhood. I used to watch Flintstones a lot. So, and it also reminds me of the, uh, I'm guessing this is based on the, uh, the, the vitamins, kitty vitamins, chewable uh, kitty vitamins. So, oh yeah, it, smell, it smells like medicine. Um, I'm a bit skeptical on vaping this, but I'm going to try it for the review's sake. It smells fruity, in a way. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. Flintstones. I'm not sure if I can remember the characters. Um... Uh, Flintstones. Uh, I do remember Fred the Flintstones, Barney, Wilma, Bam Bam. Who else? So let's go ahead and try it. It really smells like medicine. So let's go ahead and put a couple of drops here. Oh yeah. 
taste like medicine um, in a way well it's supposed to taste like that I think it's inspired by the uh, the uh, Flintstones chewable uh, vitamins kitty vitamins but I'm getting that berry berry flavor here um, I'm guessing it's uh, black uh, blackberry or a mixture of blackberry and blueberry <laughs> It's not that bad. Um, it actually, um, it has a touch of sweetness in it. I just don't like the scent. It smells like medicine. So, there you have it. Um, six flavors from uh, Exquisite Spot E Liquids. So, if you want to try it, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post all the uh, the links, okay, down in the description of the video, and um, pricing. Well, SRP for a 20 ml bottle is uh, 250 pesos. Okay, so um, for a uh, 20 ml bottle, I, I guess that's pretty cheap already. Some uh, some e juices are out there, premium e juices out there sells for like 200 for a 10 ml bottle, or even 250 for a 10 ml bottle. So this is pretty cheap, um, respectable um, price for an e juice. All right, so. That's my take on the uh, exquisite spot e-liquids or e-spot e-liquids. Again, this has been the Rag and Vapor. Check out my channel on YouTube. Okay, the Rag and Vapor. And um, again, to all vapors out there, please do vape responsibly. Don't vape where you can't smoke. And vape on.